<laughs> hey guys, okay, so we get a lot of questions from people about how to pack for a long trip, what we pack for a long trip, um, and just some sort of packing tips for, for travel. So what we're gonna do here is a little video on what's in my bag and just show you a few of the things that we would pack for a long trip and how we put it together. So we'll start off with, uh, start off with a big suitcase. So in the main suitcase, pretty gener general stuff, but uh, toiletries bag, just full of everything you can imagine. I mean, you've got uh, shave gel, gel, face wash, moisturizer, sunscreen, anything you need for your day-to-day -day use to use at home, generally just bring that as well. Uh, a, couple, a pair of shoes, I always wrap my shoes in plastic bags, just in case they smell at all, uh, or, or they smell, or if they're dirty, um, just easier to kind of pack them and keep the rest of your clothes from getting dirty or smelling or something like that. Uh, pill packs with some multivitamins, fish oil, any kind of daily pills you might take. I've got my and Katie's here, so quite a few. Uh, and here I've got just a waterproof phone case for when we're out in the water. Uh, we like to use packing cubes if we can, depending on what you're doing. For this trip specifically, we're going to have a lot of different um, different climates to hit. So we're going to be in Argentina uh, and it's going to be a little cool in Buenos Aires and then we're going to go to Brazil and it's going to be hot in the Amazon uh, and we're going to be bug clo uh, sort of anti-bug clothes and then we're going to be in Rio de Janeiro which is going to be hot again and then we're flying into Peru and be up at Machu Picchu where it's colder again. So we have a bunch of different climates we're packing for. So we kind of packed in cubes and kept things together that, that go together or things you don't need necessarily till later in the trip packed at the bottom of the suitcase. So my first cube, I've just got, um, I keep my pants and my shorts that I'm gonna be using often together. So I just have a pair of workout shorts, um, just a bunch of casual shorts and some pants as well. Uh, under that, I've got another packing cube. This has got all my anti-bug stuff. So we've got a special mesh jacket that we bought. Um, we have some clothes that are treated with the permethrin spray, uh, which sort of just helps deter mosquitoes and all sorts of creepy crawlies from the jungle from going on to us. Um, and I've got some DEET in there. Um, got a pair of flip-flops, also in a bag. Amazon, we're bringing them just for while we're in the Amazon for those two days. Picked them up at Walmart for like $9. So we'll just leave them there for the next group if anyone else needs them when, when they get there. Uh, underneath that, have a really super thin rain, uh, waterproof coat and wind resistant coat. So just good for a shell to stop it if it's raining, if it's really windy, just keep yourself from getting wet. Um, one of our best tips is to, pack, to, uh, to dress in layers. We always tell people to dress in layers. It makes it a lot easier when you're traveling. Um, so have like a sweater and you'll have a, a jacket you can put over top of that and a t-shirt under that. So you kind of, depending on what the weather's like, you can always take a layer off uh, and just sort of change depending on what you feel like wearing. Um, then we have some socks and some underwear. Uh, I usually have those in a cube, but I don't this time because I'm using my cubes for other things. Um, T-shirts and tank tops, all just kind of piled in right here. Uh, usually you kind of pack depending on how often you're planning on doing laundry. So on our trip we plan that every seven or eight days we'll probably do some laundry. That's just based on our schedule, when's easiest to do laundry. A lot of the time we pack for trips we we'll only do laundry every 10 or 11 days. Um, for us, this trip it just works better seven or eight, so we're gonna pack going on that basis. Generally though, I don't pack more than sort of 10 different outfits, 10 pairs of underwear, because it's too much. Uh, usually as a general rule, we say pack what you want and then take away half of it and then sort of go from there because most people won't overpack. You're not gonna need a ton of different sweaters and a ton of different uh, pairs of shoes, I mean, Depending on where you're going, you're going to want to have some pretty versatile clothes that you can wear different times, um, different settings. Uh, then I've got a pack of protein bars. Personally, I usually work out a lot when we're traveling and sometimes meal times don't just line up very well after a workout. It's easy to have a protein bar or a snack or something handy. Um, especially when you're in some countries where it's not as easy just to run to the store and get you know, a Subway sandwich or a burger real quick. Not a lot of these places have that. Some of the street food you shouldn't eat, depending on where you are. So it just makes things a little easier. Uh, also in my side pouch in here, I've got a little mini survival kit that has 
just some real simple things. It's got, if you basically, it's just like a mini survival kit, so if you get stuck in the woods or something along those lines. Never had to use it, but I bought it when I was down in, uh, in Costa Rica, and I bring it for all these kinds of trips. Uh, bought all some sleeping pills. Um, we when we're flying, you usually just find this helps knock me out for a few hours so I feel fresh when we get there. So I bring a few of those. I've got uh, a Leatherman, uh, just in case. Uh, a bottle opener, in case you're having a bottle of wine or something. That's one thing we find, you never seem to have a bottle opener in a hotel room. So if you're having a bottle of wine, you have a bottle opener. Some Ricolas in case we get sick. Uh, and then we have some altitude sickness pills for when we're in Machu Picchu in the Sacred Valley. Don't think we'll necessarily need them, but we have them just in case because I'd rather enjoy my time there and be well prepared than get sick. Uh, in Katie's bag, she has she has all of our meds, so we've got everything from Benadryl to um, to Imodium and uh, natural gravel, so you don't fall asleep if you're on it, but you need something to settle your stomach. Uh, real gravel. Um, Advil, Tylenol, everything you can imagine as far as meds you might need um, if you get sick while you're, while you're traveling. Especially something, if you have it in your medicine cabinet at home here, then I would say definitely bring it there. Even just a few pills so you have something. You're not necessarily going to be able to find all the same products at home uh, that you find at home when you're away, so it's just helpful. Uh, also, now into the carry-on bag. So I'm traveling with my it's a black diamond backpack. It's meant for hiking. The main reason for this one is because we're gonna do a lot of hiking on our trip. We'll be hiking on the Sacred Valley in Peru, um, going through the Amazon, things like that. So I've got a camelback that goes with it. It's drying right now, but it just slides in the back and then the straw comes out. It's two liters. So we always have two liters of water on us. Um, I've got a hat. Don't wear a hat a lot when we travel, but just to keep the sun of the eyes. A magazine for on the plane. Uh, my front pouch up top here, I've got some, some hand sanitizer, which will be good for uh, some of the things, some of the places we're going to be. Uh, a pair of Bose headphones, noise cancelling. Um, my iPhone charger and a wall plug. A couple pens and pencils, a pair of iPhone headphones. Uh, another iPhone cord, just because I find these are unreliable and they always seem to break me in the worst time. Uh, a little flashlight, just in case. Uh, and then we also have a pack of gum and a lip balm. And then I've also got another cable in here, which is the connection that uh, a mini USB cable connector, which works for uh, both the external battery, which I'll, I've got in here, and then also for the camera. So if we're looking to charge the camera, instead of having to pull the battery out, we can just plug it into the, into the external battery drive. In uh, here, I've got a Ziploc bag. I just put a pair of shorts a t-shirt, um, socks, and underwear in there. I always like to have at least one pair of, clo pair of clothes in uh, my, my backpack in case I lose my bag. You could pack a couple if you really were worried about it. I personally haven't had a whole lot of issues with losing my bag, knock on wood. So I don't pack too much in my bag, I just have the one. And also nice because we have a long way over in Toronto on our way down to Buenos Aires. So that we'll be able to change at the airport. Uh, we'll probably have a shower and things like that before we get on our next flight. Uh, also have a couple of um, pouches for cash. We try and bring a lot of the cash with us, not to take it up there, get better exchange rates, pulling it out of home. Um, I don't mind carrying a decent amount of money with me. Some people don't want to, so it's personal preference. But I've got them on the belt loop money pouches, so you just hook it in with your belt loop and then it just tucks in under your pants so they can't see it. Um, a little bit easier to Keep your money safe. A pair of sunglasses. Um, another one of my packing cubes. And this guy has a few goodies in it. Uh, we've got a pouch that has the external battery pack. And this will charge my iPhone seven times or something. So it's pretty heavy, but it'll charge things for quite a, quite a bit. Uh, a charger for the battery and the, the camera. Another uh, memory card and then the charging cable for that camera as well. Of course I'll also have my camera in the bag but it's on there up there right now. Malarone, so malaria pills for when we're in the Amazon. Um, and here I have, these are Ciproflaxin something or other, Cipro Katie says. Uh, just sort of like a 
a worst case scenario pill that'll keep you from skin infections and stomach infections. Skin infections and stomach infections. So it just kind of wipes everything out and keeps you if you get really sick. Anyways, I haven't ever had to take it. Had it for a long time. We bring it with us in case we need it. Uh, an adapter. So this is just a funky little adapter that has a whole bunch of different adapter options depending on where you are, what country you're in, whatnot. Uh, and then also a spread, uh, a three pronged outlet piece basically. So it just spread, it just expands one outlet into three, which helps because sometimes we in a place and they'll have one outlet and how do you charge everything with one outlet? So I'll have that. Um, I've got a little bag key here that I keep all the things that are handy that I want when I'm flying. So I've got a couple sleeping pills for on the plane. I've got um, Ricolize, I've got an eye mask. I have a vitamin C pack, I've got earplugs, uh, a toothbrush, toothpaste, a pen. Usually I have some moisturizer in here, some lip balm, um, just sort of a mix of things that I need depending on how if I'm on an overnight flight, usually I want to brush my teeth and so on. Uh, some li a liquids bag. So this is just some of the liquids I like, guess again, so face wash, moisturizer, things that I might need on an overnight flight. Generally don't really need it on a connection flight, but I know also if you were to lose your bag again, uh, at least you'll have some liquids for part of your trip and before you get your bag back. Uh, and the other thing I have with me is probably one of the more important things. I've got a binder that I'm all too organized in some ways, but has all of our confirmations for everything we're doing. Um, so it's got our flights, uh, has our hotels, any activities that are booked. All of them are here just in case we need them. We also have a copy of our itinerary and things we're doing uh, on, in Dropbox, which is on our phones. Um, and then I can access all my email and phone as well. So kind of use, this is like a backup, but I use my phone if I need to, if we need to pull up a confirmation for something or if I need a map or something along those lines. Um, so generally, that's what we would normally bring on most trips. Uh, of course, we tailor the clothing a little bit based on our destination. So if we're going somewhere that's hot, we're only gonna have maybe a pair or two of pants most. Now I've got you know four or five because we're gonna be in a couple places where you don't have that heat the whole time. You got a lot of cold weather as well. Uh, and again, I also have a sweater and a pair of Lululemons that I fly in. Just a pair of, of the regular Kung Fu pant, Lululemon black pants. Comfortable to fly in. And a Lululemon shirt. You want something that's not going to be too tight, too restricting when you're flying, just you can just sleep for, for part of your flight. Um, and then I have a pair of black hiking shoes that I can kind of dress up a little bit. It's my way of saying I can dress them up a little bit if I need to, uh, but they're comfortable for walking around all the time. Katie disagrees. They're not dressable. Not about the comfortable part. Oh. Um, anyways, uh, from there, as far as weight goes, most places are usually about 50 pounds for flights. Um, some flights are 40 or 44 pounds. I always say try and pack at least five pounds under that, especially when you're just leaving because you want to have room to shop. Um, if you can, ideally, pack at you know 30 pounds if you're planning on shopping a whole bunch. Again, like if you pack the way you, what you think you need and take half of that out, that's probably a pretty good rule of thumb for a lot of people. Um, we know roughly what we're going to wear. I mean, I used to pack all the time where I'd bring 15 pairs of, you know, 15 shirts and I only wore six or seven of them most of the time. So you'd have, there's no point in filling your bag with things you're not going to use. Uh, really, I could pack even lighter than this, but I just fill the bag, keep it around 40, 45 pounds, and then go from there. And if we need to, I just can stick a few more things in my carry-on bag. Normally, I can dip a different carry-on bag. It's a little, a few more pouches in it. It's easier to separate things and keep things organized. But because we're traveling, we're doing a lot of hiking, I brought this one specifically because it's better for hiking. We also have a travel backpack. Uh, the travel backpack, the travel backpack <laughs> is, uh, is better for if you're doing a lot of backpacking, if you're having to carry your bag around, if you don't want to be wheeling your suitcase around all the time. However, at the same time, it can be a bit of a pain to have to cart around all the time. So I particularly, I prefer just going with a suitcase most of the time. I travel with a um, travel pro bag and I've got a travel pro carry-on version as well I like them both good quality stuff um, relatively inexpensive they're not cheap but in a relatively inex inexpensive and they do the really light suitcases as well that's the suitcase that Katie has she has the the ultra light one which is great they're not as durable but they you can put a lot more in them and you can get away with a lot more just because you know your bag may only weigh two pounds instead of eight pounds. Um, 
And that's about it as far as what we pack. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or you can send us an email. Thanks. Yeah.